It's my third weekend in Taiwan, a Friday night, and I started it off with a bang. I don't know what compelled me to suggest going to this fancy restaurant, but once I got here, I had to get the most interesting things on the menu. Eggplant was great, the smoked squid was fantastic, and we got a show. The scallop fried rice made me think about moving to Taiwan for the rest of my life. The cured pork belly was also amazing, and we got the best chicken soup from a clay pot and took shots of soup throughout the night. Another fried rice. And we also ate some soft shell crab. We had to get some veggies to balance everything out. And you'll see the theme of doha coming up for dessert all the time while I'm here. After all that food, uh, we went to this part of the mall where you could drink outdoors. And you'll see that next. The next day we headed north to the Fisherman's Pier in Danshui. It's like 3 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, Elias and I picked the upstairs of this cafe. And do you see how sweaty? Look how sweaty this man is. <laughs> Look at his, can you see his shirt? Do you see the sweat marks? Now look at me. Look at my face. It's so sweaty. We made a mistake, but it was gonna take forever to get a spot. Food is meh. Drinks are meh. As I was saying earlier, we needed a seat, so we decided to get sat upstairs underneath a plexiglass roof. And while the view was perfect, we didn't realize it was a free sauna experience as well. And here's some extra footage of Elijah's shirt as proof of how freaking hot it was. Next stop after lunch was this Doha place. This is basically how every Doha place makes it. They scoop out the tofu from a tub and add some toppings and the sweet sugar water. We went into the back room to eat and realized the room was decorated like a traditional classroom. That was pretty cool. This dohua was really interesting. There was a chunk of honeycomb. Never had that before. Some sweet peanut chunks, uh, jelly, tapioca balls, uh, and underneath it all were these sweet like mochi balls. Overall, one of the better bowls of Doha I've had so far. We took the train back into the city and hit this underground Aslit bookstore. It's a large Taiwanese book chain. And after I picked up some supplies for work, uh, we headed to a coffee shop. Then I was hungry, so we decided to go to Moss Burger, a famous Japanese chain. Since Elias can't have gluten, their rice buns were the perfect substitute. I've never been before, so I accidentally ordered a bunch of things. Hot dog, burger, filet fish fries, and some chicken nuggets. Um, I've gotta say, these didn't really hit the spot for me personally, but it was a nice experience. And then after that, I went home and we called it a night. The next day I met Elias at a coffee shop. I've had a lot of coffee during my time here so far. And I got some breakfast there as well. 
Uh, then we headed over to see the Sun Yat Sen Memorial. This is one of the founding fathers of Taiwan. We got a history lesson. We saw the giant statue. And we saw some marble toes in the art gallery next door. Then we walked across the street and did some shopping in the Songshan Creative Park. I needed a wallet to hold all the physical money and coins I was collecting. And this lady was able to engrave my name on it as well. So if I ever lose it, at least they'll know my name. We then traveled to this tea house and waited to get our haircuts. Elias was raving about this place he found, and I've got to say, it's the best $30 I've ever spent on a haircut. This is the first place where I've walked in, and we got served either whiskey or coffee as we waited. You got a haircut? Okay. I'm Elias's. Lady spent an hour and a half on his hair. We headed off to a Thai place next to our apartments for dinner and proceeded to order too much off the menu. This one dish though, I'll never forget what it did to me. We never went back to this restaurant ever again and you couldn't pay me to experience what my colon went through that night.